sugar, it's me. I am back really quick. I am getting ready to, ready to make my sauce for cream chicken. Now, I call it cream chicken. I don't know if anybody might call it anything else. But it's basically you make a roux of flour and butter in your pan. And it looks like that. It's brown. Cook it because you don't want it to taste like raw flour. So with that, in, the, in that state, I add a little black pepper to my pan. Just for a little spice. Good night. Y'all got school tomorrow. Put the bag down and go. Good night. And I add two cups of milk. And I just keep stirring. Oh, let me turn it back up. And I keep stirring until I get it all mixed together. Yeah, I'm on the phone. You see it here? I turn my heat back up a little bit so I can get it to boiling. He needs some Benadryl. In his bag, in the closet. She want a little sip. And you just let it bubble until it get thick. And when it get thick, then you add your chicken. So I'll be back, y'all. It's me. I am back really quick. I am getting ready to, ready to make my sauce for cream chicken. Now, I call it cream chicken. I don't know if anybody might call it anything else. But it's basically you make a roux of flour and butter in your pan. And it looks like that is brown. Cook it because you don't want it to taste like raw flour. So with that, in, the, in that state, I add a little black pepper to my pan. Just for a little spice. Good night. Y'all got school tomorrow. Put the bag down and go. Good night. And I add two cups of milk. And I just keep stirring. Oh, let me turn it back up. And I keep stirring until I get it all mixed together. Yeah, I'm on the phone. You see it here? I turn my heat back up a little bit so I can get it to boiling. He needs some Benadryl. In his bag, in the closet. She want a little sip. And you just let it bubble until it get thick. And when it get thick, then you add your chicken. So I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys, I am back. My. These are all great. My sauce is done. It is thick, like I like it. See that? Now what I'm getting ready to do, I boiled some chicken breast and just some salt water. And I'm gonna take it off the bone and break it up and put it in this. And I already have some rice that I cooked last night. And I'm gonna Warm that up in the microwave. Just break it up in there. Y'all got the idea. Or you can buy the Tyson um, grilled chicken strips. Already cooked. You just have to warm them up. And they have a really nice flavor to them. Y'all 
That's one. And then I have my other chicken pieces right here. They raw. So I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and do something with those tomorrow. Not quite sure what. Take the skin off. You don't need the skin. I, just, I started to put broccoli in this, but I changed my mind. I don't need to eat um, that on top of that pasta salad I had. You talking about me burping all night long. Jalen and Mia. Mia. You're too loud. Now you, instead of putting this on top of rice, you can put it on top of um, any type of pasta that you want. Fettuccine noodles. You can add cheese to this. You can make this like a casserole bait. This is the base for a casserole. You can add vegetables to it. Like uh, sweet peas, carrots. Um, this could be your base for making a pot pie. You just add the mixed vegetables and you get your pie shell already made and you know they have a little topping, the pie, the dough already ready. Get your pie plate, put your mixture in that pie pan and then put your top on it, put a little egg wash on that top and you're good to go. Now, a lot of people like to add a little nutmeg to their white sauce. Uh, I've never tried that. I don't know what that'll taste like, so mm, I don't know. So, got all that. Now, these bones, I'll sit and chew on these bones later on the night while you're playing. I'm from down south. We don't get rid of the chicken just because it's just the bones. So I'm going to wash my hands right quick. And just stir it together. And I have it on low. I'm going to turn it back to medium. Wait, I got a bone in there. Stir it together. And I don't have to let that simmer. rice in the bowl. Heat that up for a minute. Y'all can hang out with me for just another minute, can't you? Well, I thank y'all. I so appreciate it. While that's cooking, I'm going to take my raw chicken. I'm going to put it in my bag for tomorrow. Get that out the way. Kill them two, three birds with one stone. Now I can marinate this. I got some lemon pepper marinade. 
I can pour on top of this. This chicken has been washed and cleaned and I put it in my pan. This was a, um, a whole chicken cut up. It's called an eight piece chicken. And move this out of the way. Wash my hands. Okay, got my rice all warmed up. Take a little bit of my sauce, pour it on top of that rice. And that is it, you guys. Cream chicken. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Baby. That's good. Thank y'all for coming and hanging out with me. It's something simple. Just water, not water, finna tell a lie. Flour, butter, not margarine, butter. And you know, whatever butter you like, but this is the brand that I like that I carry. That carry that is in my store that I like. Butter, not margarine. Butter and flour. You make your roux. And let it brown a little bit, not chocolate brown, just tan color. Okay, let it keep it on uh, medium, and then you add three cups of okay. If you use a fourth a cup of flour, then you'll need um, a whole stick of butter, you need three cups of milk. A teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt to your taste mix all that together let it simmer but make sure you make your roux first and when it's brown enough then you add your milk and you stir and then it'll start to bubble and you let that simmer for about 10 minutes maybe 15 and if you whatever you want to add to it then you add it chicken shrimp mixed vegetables, pasta, whatever you want. You add it to that, put a lid on it for five minutes, and you're good to go. You can also make it into a pot pie. Just your chicken, your roux, your milk. Let all of that mix together. Then you add your mixed vegetables at the end. Let it simmer for 10 minutes to make all those flavors pop together. Um, instead of three cups of milk, you add two cups of milk and a cup of chicken broth. Okay, and then you add a teaspoon of chicken base. Add that to that, your mixed vegetables, uh, put it in your pie shell, and then you buy the extra pie crust to go on top. You poke it with holes, and you put a little egg wash around the outside, and you bake it in the oven 325 for 45 minutes, and you are good to go. You got you a homemade pot pie, okay? We don't eat Popeyes, right? Corey the only one that eat Popeyes, but so that's why I don't make it. But um, I have, and um, I might make some individual ones just for myself, and um, we'll see how they go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't got this right here for no reason, y'all. Mm. I'll be back, y'all. You know I gotta bring it close to me. Bye, sugar. Ooh, I got a glare from this necklace. Bye, y'all.